Hi friends, so welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity uh, configuring DHCP using Cisco IOS. In this packet tracer activity, we are going to configure a router as a DHCP server. Then we will configure DHCP relay. Also, we will configure a router as a DHCP client. And finally, we will verify this DHCP connectivity. We will come to part 1. Configure a router as a DHCP server. So in that step 1, configure the excluded IPv4 addresses. Configure R2 to exclude the first 10 addresses from the R1 and R3 LANs. All other addresses should be available in the DHCP address pool. Yes, so here uh, we are going to uh, configure DHCP server on uh, R2 as they mentioned and keep in mind the 10 addresses we are going to uh, exclude uh, from the R1 and R3 LANs. Here we can see uh, R1 and R3 LANs 192.168.10.0 and we can see uh, 30.0. So from these uh, two networks we are going to exclude the first 10 addresses and the remaining addresses uh, we are going to avail in the DHCP address pool. Coming to the configuration on R2 right enable we will go to uh, global configuration mode configure terminal here we are going to give IP DHCP we are going to exclude so we are going to exclude 192.168.10.1 and we have to give uh, the enter trust that is 192.168.10.10 till 10.10 .10 we are going to exclude right also another line IP DHCP excluded address here we are going to give here we can see that yeah the low ip address 192.168. we have 30.1 and here we can see okay yes the high ip address that is 192.168.30.1 10 right now we will come to uh, step 2 create a DHCP pool on R2 for the R1 LAN create a DHCP pool named R1 hyphen LAN here they given is case sensitive actually this is only for scoring the uh, marks in this packet tracer activity so we have to give uh, as it is then configure the DHCP pool to include the network address, the default gateway and the IP address of the DNS server. Now we will come to uh, the configuration on R2. Right here we are going to create that DHCP pool that is IP DHCP pool and the name is R1-LAN. Right. Next, we are going to give the other information. So we have to specify the network. The network is 192.168.10.0 and we have the network mask as 255.255.255.0. Next is we are going to specify the default router. So here we can see that uh, for the R1 uh, LAN interface yes here we can see the IP address so this is the default router I'm going to paste that here right now we will specify the DNS server we have DNS server we will verify the IP address of DNS server yes here we can see DNS server I'm going to copy this IP address right okay now we will come to uh, step 3 create a DHCP pool on R2 for the R3 LAN right 
create a DHCP pool named R3-LAN uh, case sensitive uh, yes this is only for uh, scoring the mark in this packet tracer activity uh, configure the DHCP pool to include the network address the default gateway and the IP address of the DNS server for this uh, uh, um, R3-LAN right well uh, we will come to R2 again Yes, here we are going to exit and I am going to create IP DHCP pool. Here the name is R3LAN. Right. Here we can see we are in specific configuration mode DHCP. Right. So we will configure other information like network 192.168. This is 30 network 30.0. Right. And we can see uh, the network mask. It is 255.255.255.0 now we will specify the default uh, router so here it is 192.168.30.1 we can verify that if you come to r3 for the interface yes 30.1 here we can see or even we can verify in the addressing table for the r3 LAN interface yes right we will come back now we will set the DNS uh, server so we have a DNS server IP address is 192.168.20.254 yes now we will come to uh, part 2 configure DHCP relay configure R1 and R3 as a DHCP relay agent set PC1 okay we will uh, do this first and we will go to step 2 here uh, this DHCP relay we are going to set on the LAN interface uh, on uh, each uh, routers that is R1 and R3 first we will uh, do it on R1 right enable configure terminal we will go to the interface uh, gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and uh, here we are going to set the DHCP relay agent IP we have uh, we will verify that yeah helper helper address right so here I am going to give helper address and we have to see the address right here we have to get the IP address of this interface on R2 so this interface is serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and we can see the IP address serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 that is uh, 10.1.1.2 right we will give that here so that is uh, 10.1.1.2 next we have to do it on R3 uh, before uh, going to the configuration we will check the uh, hel helper address so in here we'll see this interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 1 so the IP address of this interface is 10.2.2.2 right now we will come to R3 so here we are going to give enable configure terminal and we are going to the interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and here we are going to give IP helper address we have seen 10.2.2.2 now we will come to a step 2 set PC1 and PC2 to receive IP addressing information from DHCP right here is our PC1 and PC2 and we have to get the IP address from the DHCP server so we'll come to PC1 desktop IP configuration here we are going to give a DHCP it's requesting for the IP address yes here we can see uh, we got the first IP address so what we given in the DHCP pool it is 10.11 and we can see the other information default gateway DNS server right so we will go to PC2 desktop IP configuration and we'll give DHCP requesting yes 30.11 right we can see the default gateway also we can see the DNS server great now we will come to part 3 configure r2 as a dhcp client 
configure the Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1 interface on R2 to receive IP addressing from DHCP and activate the interface. Right here we can see uh, R2 also we can see the interface uh, Ethernet, uh, Gigabit Ethernet 0 slash 1. Yes, here it is. We will come to the configuration on R2. Right, enable configure terminal. We are going to the in that interface that is a gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1. And we are going to get the IP address from DHCP, right. And we have to uh, uh, give the command no shut. Yes. Here they given a note, use packet tracers fast forward time feature to speed up the process or wait until R2 forms an EIGRP adjacency with the ISP router. Right, here we can see that. Yes, here it is, that adjacency already created. We have to wait a couple of uh, moments uh, to get this uh, adjacency uh, or uh, you can uh, give this a uh, fast forward time. Now we will go to B, uh, use the show IP interface brief command to verify that R2 received an IP address from DHCP. Alright, we will verify that. Show IP interface brief and we have to check gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1. Yes, here we can see the IP address the method how this IP address are received using DHCP. Now we will go to part 4 verify DHCP and connectivity. Uh, verify DHCP binding here we can uh, give a show command show IP DHCP binding so that we can see uh, these uh, two addresses uh, taken from the DHCP. We will come to R2 here we are going to give the show IP DHCP binding. Yes, here we can see. So this is address uh, given to PC1. And here we can see the hardware address. Obviously, this will be the MAC address of PC1. And this address uh, given to PC2. And here we can see the MAC address of PC2. We will come to the final step. Verify configurations. Uh, verify that PC1 and PC2 can now ping each other and all other devices right uh, so we will check from pc2 to pc1 i will get the ip address of pc1 or two. okay command prompt here is the ip address of uh, yes we are remembering that okay we'll come to pc2 and we'll ping to pc1 Ping to PC1, right. Yes, we are getting the replay. Also, we'll try to ping to the uh, DNS server. Yes, here it is. So, we have IP address here, DNS server. I will copy that. Yeah, it's lazy. Right. We'll come to ping and here is the IP address. Yes, we are getting the replay. Also, we will ping from pc1 right we will go to pc1 and we'll ping to cisco.com right so we'll get the ip address of uh, this pc desktop yes here it is we'll come to pc1 command prompt here we are going to ping to that server yes we are getting the replay yes here we can see the completion status 100 out of 100 uh, that's all uh, this packet tracer that is configuring DHCP using Cisco IOS. Now, if you have any doubt, please comment below. Also, if you like my videos, give a thumb. Friends, uh, we have more updates and uploads in the future. So, stay tuned. Bye-bye.